another nice chilly winter morning which isn't as bad today as it has been so our low today is like 32 it's already warming up the sun's coming up we're gonna have a high of 60 so won't be long guys we're gonna be back in spring so we're out here doing a little bit of pre-fishing today so we got a lot going on kind of so this weekend coming up in three days we have honey hole tournament for 10 cat we're gonna go fish the river uh, we're not pre-fishing the river we're just gonna swing for the fences go over there put in float i know that river really good so we're just hoping that that bites there and if it is i mean we could do really really good in this tournament we're out here pre-fishing norris again today the tournament was postponed last time until february uh, 26 so we've done come out here and pre-fished a couple spots so today we decided to come out here to a new area and uh, that's what we're doing today is pre-fishing for next weekend so not this weekend it's the weekend after we've got norris then the weekend after that we've got any tka tournament for douglas and then after that we've got fishing for soldiers i believe march 12th and then we've got um watts bar on the 19th for 10 cats so we've got five tournaments five weekends in a row so it's gonna be it's gonna be busy we might go over here to this side fish out looks like matt's headed back here to this side here a big bluff wall that runs all the way down through there. It looks like he's going to go to that. I may come over here and start fishing this. Anyways, it's going to be a beautiful day. Hopefully we catch some fish. We even have a couple cold ones with us. We're going to sip on here just a little bit around lunchtime. So it is going to be an awesome day of fishing, guys. Let's go. Well, I could clearly see the seagulls eating the bait and clearly see something blowing up on the bait. So, uh, figuring out what they want is going to be the key. Right now, I'm throwing a bladed jig. I threw a lipless. I threw a jerk bait. I threw the Kitek in there. Nothing. Now they're out there. They're out here now, guys. Here they are right here. Oh, whatever it was, it just got off. I got hit though, right there. That was probably a stripe, it felt huge. There it is. There it is. That's a stripe. Oh wow, there it goes. Yep. You just realized he's hooked. This will be my first ever stripe too, if that's, if that's what this is. And I'd say it is.
nice with a giant large mouth. Throw in the boat. So I'm gonna go out on the limb, say it's a strap. We got six ten ounce heads, so we gotta be careful. <laughs> We're supposed to be pre-fishing for the tournament. I know I've got a big old strap. I've never caught a strap either. Still hitting them right here next to me. Yes, this will be fun. <laughs> I'll sit back here and catch these. I don't care. We'll have us a little striper video. This thing's huge. Pulling me around. This is awesome. <clears throat> Come out here to pre fish for bass. I had a feeling that was stripe. But I've never caught a stripe, so I want to catch one. This thing is this is big too. This is heavy, heavy, heavy. Try to see him real quick. I mean, it's like I'm snagged on the bottom with how heavy this fish is. Whoa, <laughs> he's massive, he's massive. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> I think it's huge. <sighs> Look at that. Oh, no, he's pooping all over the kayak. Ugh. Look at that. Giant, 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 giant striper. We'll let it go. That damn thing's pooping. We'll catch another one. There it is. Beast. Oh, it's heavy. Come on, girl. There she goes. the bike. Small mouth. Keeper. Where he goes? Here it goes, guys. Thirteen inches. Little thirteen inch keeper, smallie. First bass, like actual, you know, keeper bass. Felt that little dude thump it.
Wind's blowing me back in this thing. That's a not a bad smallmouth right there, guys. I would definitely take that during the tournament. He smoked this Alabama rig, too. We've got a 13 incher. Like I said, today we're just pre-fishing. We're gonna keep up with it, kind of give us an idea of what we got. Seventeen and a half, right there. Seventeen and a half. So, so we got thirteen, and a seventeen and a half. Not bad, not bad. So now we've got two, long and skinny. Let's go ahead and crack one. Yeah, let's do this. <laughs> Your ass cracked? Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> hey, right here. Cheers, big dog. Boom. Boom. birds and I end up working all the way around that island and I stayed back there probably a little longer than I should trying to figure out what that was on that bait gonna find out it was striped as y'all see through that contact caught one don't know why I didn't think about throwing that Alabama rig I feel like I could have caught two or three more of those big stripe if I was to have picked up that uh, Alabama rig and throw it a little bit more uh, went out and did, finally decided to do a little bit of bass fishing <laughs> see if I get a little something figured out and then, you know, like I said, it was a little bit tough. That wind picked up, got a little bit too strong, ended up catching two smallmouth, a 13 and a 17 and a half. And uh, yeah, finally decided to throw the A-rig, and that's what I caught that 17 and a half incher on. So, but yeah, we cut it short. We left at one o'clock. So like I said, the wind just got a little unbearable. So we're gonna go grab some food. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. Like I said, it's a short little trip, but like I said, I still wanna make a video of all of my trips out you know whether we do good or not so please like please subscribe i appreciate you guys watching and i will see you all on the next one